welcome back to my YouTube channel. into August goals. So let's get started. So if you don't know what manifestation is, please, please, please take some time to look into it. Manifestation is the process of creating your reality. Literally, there are many, many ways that you can manifest things into your reality. I am a big fan of manifestation. I have been manifesting my reality for a long time and sometimes we are manifesting things and we don't even know it. Um, when I first started manifestation techniques, it was probably in 2015, probably a little bit before that, but I would do it and not really know what I was doing. But I would ultimately end up seeing that my lighting just changed. I hope it still looks fine, but ultimately I would end up seeing that these things ended up coming to pass. And a great example of that was when I wrote down in my journal, I am a big journaler. I don't know if that's the word, but I journal all the time. And I wrote down that I wanted to attend Deeply Rooted Dance Theater's summer intensive one year. And I didn't do it that year, but I did it the next year. So sometimes when we are unsure of how to manifest, we don't see the things right away, but we do see them come to pass. So how did I manifest $1,000 in 21 days? First things first, I set my intention. You want to make sure you set your intention. What is it that you want? Say it and write it down. You have to write it down. That's one of the most important things. So I set my intention that I wanted to make $1,000 with my product, which is my good habit journal. And I started with $1,000 because it was, to me, the lowest um, the lowest thing I could start with, but I would still see some type of profit. So I started at $1,000 and that was it. When you set your intention, you don't want to question if it's too much money or wonder how you're going to do it. You just want to set the intention. The second thing I did to manifest my $1,000 in 21 days was create an action plan. So after you set your intention, you want to then create your action plan. How do you plan to get to this goal that you have set for yourself? So I had to really crunch numbers. It's not enough to just say you want to make a certain amount of money. You have to know how you're going to get to, or you don't have to know how, you just have to set up a, some steps as to how you want to get there. Because you might, if your, your $1,000 might be manifested in a different way, but you, want to, you do want to have a plan of action in place. So I asked myself, what number of journals do I need to sell in order to make a thousand dollars i had to factor in a lot okay how much is shipping how much is, does it cost to get to me how much um are my packaging materials going to cost all of these things i put into um consideration i wrote it down and i got my number how many journals i needed to sell to reach that number and i created my action plan so the third thing i did to manifest my thousand dollars in 21 days was meditate I meditated on this goal every single day. Not only did I meditate, I also do something called morning pages where you write in your journal every morning, three pages as soon as you wake up. So every morning I would write in my morning pages and then I would meditate. And that's how I manifested my $1,000 in 21 days. So now let's get into what my July goals were and if I reach them. These are my July goals. I had a goal of making a thousand dollars with my product, gaining 50 new email subscribers, and launching a successful Facebook ad. And I am happy to say that I reached all of those goals. I made my thousand dollars, I gained 50 new email subscribers, and I 
ran a successful Facebook ad. So what I did was for the ad, enrolled myself into a Facebook accelerator program. And in that program, I was given a guidebook that broke down ads and what they are and how they work. So I went ahead and set up my first ad. And I consider my ad successful because the way I had to set it up, because I wasn't making any purchases on my website, Facebook had no data to go off of. So I wasn't able to optimize my ads for conversions. I know that probably sounds like foreign language if you don't know what an ad is, but I had to optimize for something else. So what I did was link clicks. Um, so over 12,000 people saw my ad, engaged with my ad. I don't remember the specific amount of link clicks, but if I remember, I will post it here in the video. And I got at least four conversions from my ad. So in my eyes, I ran a successful Facebook ad. As someone who has never run an ad before, um, to me that was successful. So those are my July goals and I reached them. And so let's get into what my August goals are looking like. My August goals include gaining five new YouTube subscribers, just five. When I set my goals, I try to start with the bare minimum of what I can make happen. I don't want to overshoot and then end up missing the target. I always, always undershoot my goals. That way I have no choice but to make them and most times surpass them. So I want to gain five new subscribers on my YouTube channel, create two new products, and make a thousand dollars again this month. So we're already a little uh, a couple days into August and I already have three new YouTube subscribers. So I'm very on track with goal number one. Goals number two and three, those are still in the works, but I want to be working very, very hard to get to it, to accomplish those goals. So I just wanted to create this short video today sharing with you guys how I manifest things into my life and some of my goals that I have coming up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Peace.